For tonight's homework, we are going to be practicing number patterns, and we're going to bring in some more tables, and we are also going to tie in some coordinate planes with our number patterns. All right, so let's look here. We have a table, and this table is showing us different plant heights. So I can see that I'm counting the days that they must have measured the plant on, and then I'm also counting the height in centimeters of the plant. What we're gonna do right now is we're gonna take this table and turn these uh, data points into kind of like ordered pairs. So remember, we an ordered pair is two numbers separated by a comma in parentheses that we use to plot on a coordinate grid. So for example, an ordered pair could be one, all right, so when we put all this information from the table into ordered pairs, we are then going to graph it on our coordinate plane. All right, so let's start by taking the first day on our graph, which is day five, and on our coordinate plane here, we can tell that the x-axis represents the day, so this is gonna be the x, and the y-axis represents our height, so this is going to be the y. So let's make our ordered pairs. So starting with day 5, our first ordered pair is going to be 5, 1, because we can see that the days are x and the height is y. Next I have 10, 3, 15, 8, 20, 12, 25, 16, and 30, 19. All right, so now that I have all of my ordered pairs, I'm now going to plot these on the grid. All right, so I'm gonna take my ordered pairs here. First of all, I have five, one. I'm gonna go over to the five and up to the one, that's gonna be about right here. Okay, next I have 10, three. So I'm gonna to go to the 10 and up to the three, it's gonna be about right here. All right, next I have 15, eight. Go over to the 15, up to the eight, so it's perfectly right there. I like my little dots here, they're coming out pretty nice. Next I have 20 and 12, so I go over to the 20, up to the 12. Then I have 25 and 16, so I go over to the 25, up to 16. And I have last 30, 19, so over to the 30, right underneath the 20, oops. Right underneath the 20 for 19. And then you can always connect, oops, trying to get fancy here. You can always connect by starting at the origin and then connecting the dots, making a nice little graph. Perfect. All right, go ahead and pause this video. First of all, I want you just to write out the ordered pairs if the x-axis is Ryan's height in years and then the y-axis is his height in inches. So if I'm looking here, I can see age is X, height is Y. First of all, I just want you to pause the video and then write out the coordinate pairs, or the ordered pairs, and then replay the video to check your answers. All right, so I have gone and written out all of the ordered pairs that you should have from this table. 130, 235, 338, 441, and 544. Next, I would like you to go ahead and draw this chart on your notes paper right now and then plot some of the plots on this chart and then make a nice little graph. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and do this now. Okay, so I've gone ahead here and I have made this graph. So I've plotted all of my points here and then I connected them into a nice little line. Hopefully yours look just like this one. 
All right, let's use this table to create a graph. So this time I want you to pause the video. I want you to create your own graph. So you'll notice that this one does not have the X or the Y axis. So I want you to make your ordered pairs and then graph your information. All right, so I've gone ahead here. I've made all of my ordered pairs, 0, 0, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 6, and 4, 3. I have labeled my graph, the x-axis and the y-axis. I decided to make the x-axis the distance that the miniature car traveled in feet. And then I made the y-axis the speed in miles per hour. And then I labeled it 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then I graphed my, my plots, and then I connected them all to make a nice little graph. All right, so we're going to graph this data, and then after we graph the data, we're going to figure out what the next order pair would be if the pattern continued. So pause the video. I want you to write out the ordered pair and then replay the video to see if your answers are correct. Alright, so I have gone ahead and wrote out the coordinate pairs. So I have 0, 0, 1, 4, 2, 8, 3, 12, 4, 16. I'm actually going to graph these with you. So we're going to do some quick graphing right here. So 0, 0 would be at the origin. And then 1, 4, and 1, and up 4. Okay, now I have 3, up 12. All right, and then I have four and up 16. So if I was gonna connect these, it'd be a nice straight line. Now the rest of the question asks us, what would be the next ordered pair if the pattern continued? So we haven't previously looked at these tables as a set of patterns, but we know from our last our video on Monday that a sequence of numbers is very possible, and all we have to do is find the rule in order to find out what the next numbers in the sequence would be. So in order to do that, we have to figure out the relationship between these numbers, okay? So obviously I can tell here that in the x-axis, our numbers are going sequentially. One, two, three, four. So our next number would probably be a five, okay? Let's look at our y-axis. We have a zero, four, 8, 12, and 16. So obviously to get from 0 to 4 I have to add 4. Let's see if that pattern continues. 4 to 8, add 4. 8 to 12, add 4. 12 to 16, add 4. So I know that if I was going to continue and add another 4, then my next number in my pattern would be 20. So that means that our next ordered pair would be 5, 20. Let's plot that and see if it makes sense. 5 and 20 would be right about here. Yeah, that makes sense according to our pattern. All right, so for this table, what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to pull out the ordered pairs. You don't have to graph this one. But what you need to do is I'd like you to find the pattern for these numbers. And so that means that if my x-axis here and my y-axis is here, on day 7, so that means I have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I want you to fill out the table for the rest of the time to find the rest of our numbers. Okay, pause the videos and do that now. All right, so I've gone and pulled out all of the ordered pairs that you should have pulled out. And then now we're going to look at the relationship between these numbers. So obviously here we're going sequentially in order, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then we need to see how these numbers are related. So from 0 to 8, I need to add 8. From 8 to 16, I add 8. And then so on and so on. So 32 plus, 30 plus 8 will give us 40. 40 plus 8 will give us 48. 
and 48 plus 8 will give us 56. All right, I hope you enjoyed graphing from a table. It is now time to go to Canvas and take your quiz. Good luck.